New information right now in the police shooting death of a 12-year-old Cleveland boy. Tamir Rice's family attorney just released two expert reports. This after prosecutors released enhanced surveillance images of that shooting. Investigator Sarah Buddison reviewed the reports, and Sarah, they say the shooting never should have happened. Mike, in these reports, two experts hired by attorneys representing Tamir's family conclude the officer's actions were unreasonable and an unjustified use of deadly force. Friday night, prosecutors released these pictures of the Tamir Rice shooting as you've never seen it before. 326 enhanced still images from two surveillance cameras reveal what happens in the split second before the 12-year-old is shot. The forensic video analyst who put it together says Rice lowers his arm to his waist as the police vehicle moves towards him. Then Tamir's right shoulder and arm move forward as Officer Timothy Lohman exits the vehicle. This was the third Saturday Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Timothy McGinty released expert reports, each concluding the shooting at Cudell Recreation Center one year ago was justified. But an attorney representing the Rice family not only disagrees with the prosecutor's experts. Sabode Chandra told us today the prosecutor shouldn't release the information at all. This is very strange. I mean, I'm a former federal prosecutor myself, and grand jury proceedings are by law secret. So he and other attorneys representing the family hired their own use of force experts to review the case. Tamir Rice's grieving family believes that the prosecutor has tainted the process. Given that distortion of the process, uh, unfortunately, the Rice family was put in the position of saying, all right, we need to go uh, identify independent experts with strong law enforcement credentials to assess the situation. The first, Jeffrey Noble, a former deputy chief of police in Irvine, California. The second, Roger Clark, a veteran of the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Both conclude the shooting was an unreasonable and unjustified use of deadly force. Clark saying the killing of this child was completely avoidable and preventable. We reached out to the Cuyahoga Prosecutor's Office to see what they had to say about these reports. They declined to comment on camera, saying the investigation is ongoing, but did send us a statement saying they welcome new evidence and will present it to the grand jury. On your side, I'm Investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.